George's balloon. Peppa and George have had a day out with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream. Why not? I think we deserve it. Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Coming right up. What flavours would you like? Strawberry for me, please. Chocolate for me, please. Banana for me, please. Dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho. I don't think they have dinosaur ice cream. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon. Do you not want an ice cream, George? No. Dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho. How much is the little balloon? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? It's all for a good cause. There you go, George. Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. If you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <coughs> Grandpa. Oh. <coughs> ah, got you. Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandma. I can't, Peppa. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Peppa and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <coughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go. And it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. Why have you 
got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea! Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns and strong men and jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <laughs> wow! What did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Peppa, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. Okay, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! Okay, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! Don't stop clapping, it's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes. And an egg. Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done a funny bit yet. Ah, ah. that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> Fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Peppa. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. 
Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, 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 it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, there's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? Of course. Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha, it's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No, if you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> Oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. It's like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr. Pig speaking. It's Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>